visibly Siri's Masjid al Fala, the city's oldest mosque, and the mosque that the newly resettled Guantanamo detainee Majid Khan may choose as his place of worship. But given Khan's past, he who's pleaded guilty to having once plotted a never realized suicide bombing, we wondered if the local imam would be at all willing to accept him as one of the Belizean faithful. According to the imam, it isn't in his power to keep Majid Khan from speaking to Allah. Well, the response according to Islam is that the whole world is a masjid, but human beings out of convenience make dwelling to keep us out of the rain, sun, and designate part of the earth to say this is exclusively where we would pray. But a person prayer is just answered by God if he's driving on his bed, um, he's eating dinner, but in the masjid you got a kind of socialization. And we all know that if one is dealing with religion and God, if a person comes to the masjid and he's not praying sincerely, God doesn't like that, but if he's home praying sincerely... And how can the resettled former member of Al-Qaeda be expected to be treated by his Muslim brothers if he does show up at this masjid? This is respected of a sensible human being to treat all human beings properly until they do something then you say man he was a nice guy but he, I, he's changed then we will change so normally when we meet people no matter who it is you shouldn't prejudge because prejudging people if you're my age you will realize you will be wrong a lot of time but you think they're like this and there's something is so it's like a neutral feeling but Khan has repeatedly told government authorities that whether he is welcomed by this community or not, he will continue with his prayers. The very same prayers he carried out for years inside Guantanamo Bay. So coming to the masjid is not like, well, my prayer is guaranteed to be accepted because it's in a particular building. So the Muslim community of Belize is registered with the government to let any Muslim who come to this country Whatever his previous background, or if he was even a Belizean or non-Belizean, they're free to come and worship, and there's no restriction as long as they don't cause any disruption in the community. But anyone is free. Even non-Muslim can come into our masjid, and we always invite even non-Muslim that people may think we are antagonistic too. So if we can welcome a Christian, a Jew, a person who is an atheist, and a Muslim come, we will not turn him back, of course. Sherry's Halsell. Seven News.